Yo, welcome back to Containing Luxury. I almost forgot the name of the channel for a second. I'm eating a banana, by the way. Let's get started. It's super cold out this morning, and uh, we're actually going to be pumping concrete on the rooftop deck and the inside. So let's get started. I think actually one of the concrete guys got here, right? As I said, let's flash forward to them getting here. And then they got here. Oh man, stairs of death I'm walking up. None of my stairs have any platforms or anything. The whole rooftop deck up here, all tied with rebar, ready to get pump, pumped with concrete. My lips are so cold, I can't speak. No speak good. So you'll see some of the spray foam is only on this side. Again, if you remember, the bottom side of the ceiling, only one side, is not framed uh, and is, is gonna remain raw. So the spray foam's up here on that case, but it's just a thin layer, um, just enough to add a little bit of insulation value. The other side on the inside has like two inches, two and a half inches of closed cell spray foam. Plus it's gonna have three inches of concrete up here, so it's gonna be really well insulated. This side didn't have anything on the inside. So we wanna add a little bit of spray foam and then we're gonna have the concrete up here. My hand is freezing. I grew up in Minnesota, so I should not be complaining about like 40 something degrees outside. Pretty sure I used to take my motorcycle out in this type of temperature. Crazy days. Look at this beautiful view we have. Amazing. All right, I'm stuck on the view. Let's get started. Okay, walking up my no stairs. I don't actually have the stairs, so it's like tricky. So, a balancing beam across and we're in. So, this is the concrete substrate for getting the concrete in here. I guess that makes sense, right? So we put down a bunch of wire mesh. And by we, I mean the concrete guys. Um, we've got this angle iron that kind of goes across because we anticipated that we were gonna have three inches of concrete on our floor. Now you don't need to do this. This is just something I wanted to have polished concrete floors or almost just a sealed concrete like you find in like a loft downtown or something. So I'm going polished concrete slash sealed concrete floors through the whole house, which allowed me to also kind of snake some of this electrical pipe through the floor to certain locations where it would have been really difficult to get uh, electrical, like into this wall. Since we have floor to ceiling glass all the way up and I don't have a ceiling going in on this side, this is just gonna get painted black. Um, and then I've got drywall on this side and I'm gonna have a fake beam going across here. I couldn't get electrical from this ceiling here, whoop, that ceiling there, the drywall ceiling, across the beam and across the ceiling without you seeing it. So I was like, okay, I'll just run it and pipe up into this wall. Because we have three inches of concrete going here, it allowed us to put that pipe there. So keep that in mind if you wanna go with an industrial type of look, you really like concrete floors, um, you can shortcut some stuff and put some pipe in the, in the ground. Now I probably could make these heated floors, which wouldn't have been the worst idea in the world because it is pretty cold. 
Um, I'm not too worried about it. It's a little late in the game. I, I didn't realize Texas actually got as cold as it did. It's like 46 degrees right now here. But, um, and the other morning it was like 30 something, 38. Cause I might find something when I start putting furniture in here that I'm like, oh man, I want to snake one more lineup over into here. That's the beauty behind having these containers up off the ground. I can still run everything underneath, drill a hole, pop it up, and boom. I, you know, I don't have a foundation I have to worry about when saw cutting floors out. So anyway, that's it. We're about to start pumping some concrete. So flash forward to when they get here. Boop.